Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. To those of you who saw the video that I posted earlier from uh, Bill Johnson, I believe the name was, from Bethel Church. Now, I had heard of Bethel Church in Jesus Culture, and after it went up, there was the first comment was saying, why is that light doing that? Stop it. What? Let me turn this way and see if that helps. Okay. Okay, this just goes to show, it actually proves a point I was making the other day on, I shared a message from the Lord from a channel I'd never heard of, but recognized the voice, turned out to be Diane Livieri. And I said, this message sounded solid. Boy, I'm going to keep my hands up. This message sounded solid. But because of the source, I took it down. Well, look at this. I shared this sermon, and I felt it was solid. Wow, that's really weird. Okay, Holy Spirit, I'll hold my hands up. It, it really touched my heart and made me want more of the Holy Spirit. I heard nothing wrong with it. Now, I did get, I did research Bethel. There's a lot of churches named Bethel. There's some here, right here in Birmingham. Well, anyway, I found the one in California that has the attachment to Jesus culture. So that's the one we wanted. Oh my goodness, this is so weird. Okay, Lord, just let it stay right there. I'll just be real still. Okay. And... It, it had a couple weird things about it, but when I got down to the very bottom, this was Wikipedia now. They're not the best source for all the facts. I realize that, but I was just starting, and then I noticed some more comments had been posted, so I went on and read those. Okay, come on, light. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. And um, Catherine told me they are involved with uh, the ones who are in with the Pope and Rick Joyner and, oh, God forgive me, IHOP, which I thought was great. When I first heard about IHOP and the movement they were doing, I was like, this is awesome. They're helping the youth of America get born again and filled with the Spirit. And they're sending them out as missionaries. And then I found out some more information about them. And they were, like, not letting the kids call their parents. And stop that. Why is it doing that? That is so weird. Okay, just forget about the lighting. Anyway, thank you, Lord. Uh, so I thought, okay, I hops creepy. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea to just because a teenager or young person decides to go sign up and be a student there. They should be allowed to call their parents. Why would they not be allowed? Now that's I'm taking this on the word of one girl who went there. All right, that could have been they have rules like you can't use the phone after 9 p.m., like dormitory rules. Could be that. Could be some, they didn't want them on the phone a lot because that's a distraction to the learning and whatever. So, you know, that, that take that with a grain of salt. But still, I heard other things about IHOP that I don't remember. And Catherine was saying that they're all part of the same bunch. Now, I don't know all the details, but like Diana's message the other day, it sounded solid. 
but I don't trust the source. That's, that may sound wrong to you, but you see this? This message to me sounded solid. I got no red flags. I got no reason. Of course, I didn't listen to the prayer part where he was going to pray over people to heal them. I did not listen to that part. And perhaps I would have gotten a red flag if I would listened to the praying part. But when I... <laughs> When it got to the part where he uh, was saying, okay, we're going to pray now for healing people, I meant to pause the video, and instead I stopped my video, so it just ended there. And I just said, oh, well, I'll just tell them if they want to hear the rest, the where they pray for people, they can go to the link and listen to the last 10 minutes or whatever it was. However I put it, I don't remember. So anyway, just to keep anybody from thinking they're a good source to follow, I removed video, even though I thought the message was good. I have to stay... I, you know, if I'm going to remove one message that sounded good because of the source, and and I could be wrong about her, I'm going to say straight up that when I was listening to her, she could have been going through a short period of being deceived or whatever. I've been deceived. Others have been deceived. We've heard messages that didn't come to pass. So truly, Satan, you know where the Bible says Satan uh, is wearing down the saints? He's doing everything he can to wear us down. And all he, if he can cause division or, or make one of us look bad or several of us look bad, get us into sin, get us into whatever that would cause you to want to turn us off or whatever. He's going to do it. He's looking for ways to do that. So, oh dear Lord, it's, it's confusing, but I appreciate the ones who left the comments. All were, uh, one was a good one, appreciated the video. Well, see, it sounded good. It did, and, and I, I really enjoyed it. And as I was recording it, I was listening to it again, and I was like, this guy is great, you know, but if there are problems in that church, like grave soaking, uh, I mean, they got that from the Bible, though, and it explains how Elijah... Or someone laid on Elijah's bones and got power or something like that. I don't remember the details. But anyway, that's where they came up with grave soaking. And so their students were doing this. And the supervisors and preachers, they weren't stopping them. Uh, until I think there was a big uproar about it, you know, like maybe parents were like, that's really creepy, and one of the leaders said, this is really weird, so they stopped it, I guess, uh, even though the head of the whole place thought it was okay to do, is what I read, okay, and, um, but then, at the ver let me tell you this last thing, so you'll know why, I don't want you to follow Bethel Church because just because they did a good sermon here. Um, okay, they do have this. This I thought was really good that out of that church came um, a presidency of Donald Trump. Um, gosh, this is the changed movement, uh, where people who were involved, who were once identified as LGBTQ plus, 
and through encounters with the love of Jesus have experienced his freedom in their lives. It says Bethel does not financially support the organization but does pay the salaries of the pastors. They promote it and house the organization in the offices of another one of Bethel's Bethel or however they say it ministry ministries so um, but then um, changed used uses the term once gay and some have noted similarities with the ex-gay movement changed slogan is changed is possible whereas the now defunct exodus international had the slogan change is possible the bethel pastors behind changed do not use the term conversion therapy so apparently whatever that is is uh, not conversion therapy that they apparently do not promote that but then the last straw was which I thought that was good that they they uh, paid the pastors although they didn't support the ministry financially they supported it they promoted it and that is good for people who get uh, get delivered of those demons and want to be free from the LGBTQ, you know, group. Okay, but listen to this. Oh, my goodness. Um, they're saying, okay, however, some Redding, that's the city. They settled in a little small city in California called Redding, California. They had 90,000 residents and is among the state's poorest with a high unemployment rate and high crime rate. Bethel has grown to have over 10% of the population as members, including the mayor, who serves on the board of elders. And with this growth, the church's influence in the city has increased with a mixed reception, which a number of news articles have reported on. The church has brought in many young people for the school that clean the streets and do pro bono work. Many of the students have stayed afterwards and have some, some have started businesses. I don't know what they mean by that. Unless there's a school there, they go to school there and they stay after. That's all I could figure it means. When the Civic Auditorium was about to close for financial reasons in 2011, the churches, the church started leasing it and put in $1 million for repairs. So somehow, even though they're in the poorest city, one of the poorest, they get, get a lot of donations and can do this. But anyway, the point is, let me get to the, um, what they believe. However, some Reading residents are worried by the influence Bethel Church has on the city. One of the main worries is, listen to this, the belief held by Bethel the Seven Mountains mandate that Christians must influence seven mountains, including government, media, business, and education in order for Jesus to return to earth. Now that right there is like, what they must Christians must influence seven mountains I thought right there 
Okay, that's nuts. That's not in the Bible. So, how are we going to influence the government? By voting? Our votes don't count unless it's a small election. Then that, that might help. The small city elections, that I suppose, might actually count. But not when you vote for president. They're already pre-picked out. Uh, but anyway, one, su one such alleged instance of influence was this donation to the police force. Anyway, I've read enough. There's there. I'll put the link to this whole entire article, but if you care to read it. But um, there I copied it. Anyway, uh, that's enough about that. Um, you know, you all keep helping me. Tell me these things, you know. Like, I had heard something about the music. Some people thought that their music was not what it should be or what it used to be, like Hillsong. But now, there's branches of Hillsong that are supposedly serving Satan and not Jesus. And... I, See, I don't, I'm no expert on all that. I haven't researched all that. So, if they are connected in any way, then you're known by your association. You see? So, I hate it, you know? That was a great message. Just like that prophecy the other day I put up and, and took down. I thought it was solid. Okay, so, you see, we can be, but that was from 2012 also. So, they may have started changing over the years, you know, what they were preaching. I don't know. I'll end it here. Um, if you heard it, you know, I'd like to know the ones of you that heard it, that actually listened to it. What you thought about it. Look at that, how I could make that light come back on. That's so weird. Okay, so I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, and I pray that you understand why I took it down, why I took the other one down a few days ago. <sighs> wow, this is so weird, this lighting. Anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, my computer, all of you, all your devices, and all of your internet connections, so we can stay connected until we're out of here. And that, that's what our main goal is, is to get there. So, let's keep on keeping on. You help me. I'll keep trying to help you the very best I can. Get to heaven. We all want to be counted worthy. To escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Won't that be exciting? All right. Bye for now. I will talk to you again later.